Hi there, welcome back to New Day. A new book chronicles the history of the Seattle-based record label that brought us great bands, including Nirvana, Soundgarden, Mud Honey, to name just a few. World Dominion, the sub-pop record story, tells that story from the inside out and makes a perfect holiday gift for a music lover. Please welcome the author, music journalist, Jillian Garr. It's so good to meet you. Well, it's great to be here. Way to go. The book is beautiful, <laughs> in addition to being really interesting. Tell us about your history with sub-pop. Well, uh, during the 80s when Sub Pop was getting off the ground here in Seattle, I was working at the Rocket magazine, if you remember the Rocket. Uh, I worked my way up to senior editor, and so we were kind of rising at the same time right. that Sub Pop was coming together. And so you knew about what they'd put together. Were you surprised at how important it became? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, we were in close proximity. The Rocket offices were about three blocks away from the terminal sales building on first. So, you know, they were right in our neighborhood. Right. And so, yeah, I guess you just don't expect people in the neighborhood to just... You don't, right? <laughs> you think, oh, that's just down the street, but yeah, it can turn yeah. out to be this amazing <laughs> thing. So how did you decide to take on the project as a book? Well, I uh, was referred to the publisher. I had a, a friend of mine who lives in England, another author. He was doing a book for them. And see, it's part of a new series uh, called RPM, Revolutions Per Minute all about record labels, different yeah, record labels. Yeah, yeah. The other one that came out at the same time as mine is on Excello Records. They're based in uh, Tennessee, I think. Uh, anyway, so Nick referred me to the editor at uh, RPM, and we talked and decided that Sub Pop would be a great project for, for this series, especially because there isn't a book that focuses on sub pop. I mean, they, it's touched on in books like uh, Mark Yarm's Everyone Loves Our Town mm -hmm. and Grunge is Dead, Greg Prado's book, but that covers more, you know, everything that happened, all the bands. And this and all is the, sub pop. Yeah, this is sub pop per story. Se. Who shared their stories that you could tell? Well, uh, because I've been writing so long, I did have a lot of archive material to draw on. So I spoke to Bruce Pavitt and John Ponham and the founders, mm -hmm. but I got new interviews with both of them. So that was great. I spoke to a lot of past and present employees. Megan Jasper, who's still yes. there, you know, she was there, then she was laid off, and now she's back. Uh, people that worked there in the early years, like Daniel House, who also owns CZ Records. Uh, Jack and Dino, the producer, you have to talk to him. Right. I mean, he was sort of part of the original group. When those records came out, uh, they all had photos by Charles Peterson that I talked to, and they were all produced by Jack and Dino. So what did they tell you? What did you glean about what caused the alchemy there? Well, uh, they really attributed a lot of the success to just Bruce and John's persistence. I mean, they talked about these bands as if they were big stars, and really they had barely played outside of Seattle. I mean, it was, it was a, a stroke of brilliance to bring over a UK journalist in 89 to see the bands here and partake in the scene and then go back to London, England and write in the Melody Maker about Seattle's exploding Fabulous music scene. music scene, right? And, uh, and then everybody wanted to know, who are yeah, they? What yeah. are they about? I mean, they wrote about them like they were stars already. And, you know, they were far from it. Most of them hadn't even turned outside of Washington State. That is pretty, <laughs> pretty surprising. What were some of the other kind of surprise things that you found as you researched that maybe you didn't know, even though they were just down the block? Well, there was a, a turbulent time in the company's history in 97 where some employees didn't like the way things were going and they presented a list of demands to Jonathan Poneman. They call that the coup. <laughs> I guess it was more an attempted coup, really, when you look at it. Um, and people got fired and Bruce and John were talking and that was this big explosion. But, you know, that was 20 years ago. So that's all water under the bridge Bruce and John have made up. And it, but it was interesting getting both sides of that Right. Uh, all these years later when people are, you know, a little calmer. And, and not it's so not uncommon in the music industry. I mean, we have this with bands, with all kinds of things. But I think it's interesting that they worked it out yeah. and moved on yeah. with whatever they were doing. So if a person maybe isn't a, a particular music fan of Sub Pop, will they still enjoy this book? Are there things to learn about the industry? Yeah, I think, you know, music fans or record collectors uh, would be interested. I mean, it shows how... This company started from, you know, nothing. They were a fanzine before they became a record label and began putting out records and, 
and later CDs and so on and just how they managed to grow and yes become you know this world dominating right. force. So I love I, world, world domination, world dominion. Well, that's that, that pretty was, amazing. That was always what they used in their yeah. hype you know yeah, we yeah, are yeah. for world domination so <laughs> I thought that's got to be the title. Absolutely and now there's a store at the airport if you have a little extra time it's fun to go in there. Yeah well I'm going to be there on Friday. You will be there on Friday and we will put all of that information on the website. Thank you so much and Jillian will discuss and sign copies of the book on Friday December 7th at Easy Street Records in West Seattle. West Seattle. Details on all of that on our website. Thank you so much. Well, we'll thank be right you. back. That's so cool. Yeah. Congratulations <laughs> on that.